Hey there. So my next guest, English, not his primary language, but he does a fantastic job in being able to express what it is he is doing in the gaming space. He's working with streamers. He's working on finding talent in order to promote them and, and really get buzz going around people on over in the Philippines where gaming is huge, mobile gaming is huge. And so they're cornering the market. And it, I really do appreciate this because it just goes to show that gamerpreneurs really are around the world. I think at this point, I've interviewed people from eight or nine countries. And so this has been incredible being able to talk to people from just all over. And this is one you're definitely gonna enjoy. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Gamerpreneur Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Bradford Carlton. Today, I have a very special guest with us. I have Edward Adrian Dela Cruz, aka Giu. Hey there, Giu. How's it going? Hey, it's okay. You're in the Philippines. It's okay. Wonderful, it's wonderful. All right. So, Giu, I uh, like to get our show started just right out the gate. Why don't you go ahead and just tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Yeah. Hey, my my full name is Edward Aiden de la Cruz, but my nickname is Giu, and I'm an admin in Pinoy Gaming Network where we handle streamers and gamers on here in Philippines. Uh, we uh, no, we are a startup, but as time goes by, we want our community to become a company to handle more brands, par, uh, brand partnerships, more sponsorship and investor to support Filipino gamers and other gamers who wants to be to be appreciated here in in the gaming industry fantastic all right now i want to talk about all of that because i want to know more about like the market over there right but before i do that i start every interview with a single question i'm going to ask you just like i ask everybody else so on a scale of one to ten ten being high how weird are you Giyu? Mm, i think eight an eight? Why is that? Eight, eight, eight. Um, I'm, I know. I'm sometimes getting weird. Sometimes not because I think uh, I'm 26 right now. So my, so my, uh, my mindset is very, very uh, something called, uh, it's called skeptic something. Okay, you're a little skeptical. Okay, I love it. <laughs> Okay, so uh, this is the Gamerpreneur. Now you've already told me you work with streamers and gamers, but I need to understand where you come from as a gamer. When did you first start playing video games? I started playing video games when, dad, when my dad taught me it's about five years old. Uh, I play, the first game I ever played is Mario. Wonderful, okay, and how did that continue? You played Mario and then and then did you play then other video, games along the way or did... yes then video games like mario then i play black and white pokemon in game boy my dad bought that with me and as time goes by i i, know, I learned to to play in video game uh, arcade arcade then and then my cousin taught me uh, computer games so the first uh, the first game i ever played was counter strike that's the that's the first offline game I've ever played. Then the first online I've ever played, and until now I love it is Ragnarok Online. Fantastic. Okay, and so what are you playing today? I'm playing now uh, Valorant. Valorant. Fantastic. From Riot Games. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so it doesn't sound like you've been playing for that long. You know, not too many years compared to me at the very least. <laughs> but <laughs> what would you say is your favorite game of all time? Do you? I'm a, I'm a favorite game is Pokemon. It's uh, it's my childhood uh, favorite game because uh, because it's uh, it's about monster. Uh, I love I uh, know I love monster games because uh, something the art the art their mythology their their story. Then I uh, know about uh, a Pokemon teach uh, teach us not to give up on our dreams. Until now, uh, no, I got that. Uh, no, I got moto in my life. I love that. That's a fantastic way of looking at it. Did you ever catch them all? Uh, 
I think uh, in ano, uh, not yet. <laughs> not yet because ano, uh, because the game is uh, the console is too expensive to buy it for now. But of this in general picture, I think I uh, wanna buy it. Fantastic. Okay, so you told me, let's get over to the preneur part. And you've told me you work with gamers and streamers as an admin. Can you kind of tell me, how did you get to this place? What is your professional background? Um, I think uh, this, was, uh, this was just a hobby with my partner, streamer. Then uh, one of my, uh, no, what, uh, no, one of my, one of my professor is uh, is the admin of the uh, Pinoy Gaming Network. So he, uh, no, so 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 he he introduced me to the gaming company, and and that and that my partner uh, want uh, no, want to handle streamers because uh, I think uh, no, a gaming company in others uh, have uh, no, have a problem with. Uh, with uh, introducing streamers, I, I don't, uh, promoting small streamers because they, they, I know, they always promote bigger streamers. Uh, small, I don't know. Okay, Fantastic. streamers does not, I know, does not allow to have brands. Yeah. Okay, and uh, so you said your your professor introduced you to this company. You decided to start working with them. And what is it that this company does? They they, they promote streamers. They're they're um, there to help guide gamers and streamers looking to make a career out of what they're doing. Correct? Actually, you know, uh, uh, the uh, the the brief history of the Apine Gaming Network is they you know, they are a publication. So uh, so they promote games. They have podcast in the past then something you know they create videos about games about uh about uh, the news in the gaming industry but uh by, ano, but they are too old for now to uh, to operate so so they pass the so they they pass the pina gaming to us so that we can handle uh, the the what we call is we are the new, uh, new, gen, new blood, new generation of the Pinay Gamer. Fantastic. Okay. And so what is it that you do day by day? Uh, I, 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 know, I do day by day is, I know, is inquire, I know, I'm an inquirer in an online shop here in the Philippines. So, so it supports my hobby, my, I know, my hobby, because my, I know, my computer right now is just for rent. I rent it every, every day. I, and I you know and I pay it monthly so uh, so the uh, so my work now is just an inquire but my I you know but my professionalism is multimedia artist I I was a photographer I am a videographer and I'm an editor too okay and how are you using those skills uh, in uh, struggles for us because we don't have event that right now so that's why my income is just for an inquiring in an online shop. Okay, I get it. Fantastic. Okay, and how big is the streaming community over there in the Philippines? It's big and it's too much saturated because there are so many streamers right now. Uh, there's, that's they pretty much how it is around the world. There's millions and millions of streamers. Yes, yes. Okay. Is it difficult to find, you know, good quality uh, gamers, streamers, influencers uh, over there? Mm, I think it's easy, but uh, in Pinay Gaming, we filter streamers because we want, uh, we want a good, uh, a good role model in 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 the gaming industry because uh, the problem here in the gaming industry is about toxicity. Mm-hmm. Right, because mm-hmm. ane, toxicity. Uh, we know that toxicity is a part of it. It's a part of a game, but in a gaming, we don't promote toxicity because ane, it can ane, it can ruin the people. It can ruin the game. It can ruin a country also. Absolutely, I, I, I absolutely agree with you. 
Um, now, what kind of qualities are you looking for? Maybe somebody's watching right now and they're listening to you and they're like, what can I do to get Giyu to find me as a streamer? Like what qualities or characteristics should they have in order to be found? Uh, we want streamers to be good at advertising products, advertising games, and we want uh, them to have a trust in their self because if we, if they don't step up, they any they you know, they can't get uh, brand partners, they can't get sponsors. So that's why we you know, we want uh, streamers that have an you know, advertising skills, advert because it can help them uh, to have a sponsored investor and we, they can help us to promote them easily. Fantastic. Now, is that something that you see that a lot of people have that skill or is that fairly rare? Uh, actually, because they thought that streaming is easy. We know that it's, it's easy because if you have a computer, if you have a pair called OBS Studio, and you have a camera and have your game, it's easy, but, uh, but streaming is not easy because if you want to get an income, you you have to work on it, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's not just sunshine and rainbows. You have to work, absolutely. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. How about you? I want to talk a little more about you, Guy. Um, what makes you good at your job? How are you, like, maybe somebody wants to follow in your footsteps and do what you're doing. What do they need to know about, you know, the qualities that it takes? Actually, uh, Anna, I started... Uh, streaming uh, January, then I think I don't have the skills in purse, but I uh, know. But some people, you know, some people encourage me that I can do, that I can do more. And I uh, know. And as time as time goes by, I I uh, know I met a streamer, and and we uh, we got a partnership. So I uh, know. So so I think for myself that I want to step up. I, I know I trust in my I trust in my creativity. So, so any I handle streamers because uh, the, no, uh my uh I I post myself as a role model to them that they I know I want them to be me to be to be you know to be no uh to be uh confident to uh, no, to face people to advertise the product to uh, to uh, to promote the games because if uh, no, if uh, no, if I don't have that I won't get a brand partnership because I have a brand partnership now I have three brand partners right now that I have partner and they you know they trusted me okay fantastic um, now you said you've only been doing this since January so just this year Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, this year, this year. Wonderful. So if you could go back and you could give yourself some advice when you were first starting, because I mean, this has been a crazy year, right? Like no one has expected this year to turn out like this. Um, but if you could go back and give yourself some advice, what would you say looking forward in order to do the job better? I think if, uh, no, if, I, if I face myself in the past, so I, want, uh, I want to advise that you can do it now. Don't don't do it tomorrow. Do it now because uh, time is good. Love it. I love it. Okay. Um, now, how do um, what do do other people need to know in order to do what you do? How would somebody get a job like you have? They must have the confidence to uh, to face people, to face professional uh, professional people. They they I know. They have the confidence to face bigger company, bigger bigger businesses because uh, they can't get what I got right now, the brand partners. Because I uh, know because confidence is the ones uh, uh, is the one is the uh, is the key to I uh, know to to get that brand partners to get that perfect job for you. Okay, wonderful. All right, so. Um... I want to talk about you a little more personally, if we can. Um, you see, I believe that we learn the most from our failures in life. Yes. So when we, we screw up, when something goes wrong, you know, when things just aren't 
what you want it to be. That's when we learn the most about ourselves and we learn how to move forward. So I'd like to know what is something that you have failed at and what have you learned from it? I've failed at many things because uh, when I was in elementary school, I, I was a singer, but uh, I, uh, when, uh, when I failed at uh, this, I dropped I drop it and then move to, to being a dancer. Then some uh, I drop it because I'm I'm too I know, I'm too I'm lack of I know, I'm lack of skills in dancing. So uh, so then again, uh, in, in sports, uh, I'm always a loser on that. So I know, so I give up that things and like drawings. I I love drawings. When I was a kid, but yeah, I I don't know I drop it again. Then, uh, uh, per, and I uh, know when I was uh, twenty four years old, I realized something. Uh, I give up my uh, my talent, my skills because of the people saying that I that, that I can, but uh, can to I know to the past. I want I know. I want to do it even if the people don't trust me. Absolutely. Yeah. Don't let people put you down. You can do anything you want. <laughs> okay. Yes. So what are you working to improve on in yourself today then, Giyu? Mm, working with myself. Uh, actually, any, actually, I'm a content creator and uh, I started March creating graphics, creating videos, but but I have a downfall to that because uh, I got uh, I got that any I got that zero creativity zone. For, but uh, but uh, no, but uh, I, my my idol has died this uh, last last month. And he changed me because he's my idol. He, I know, he was a YouTuber. He was a content creator. And I know, and I idolize him because he can create such thing, uh, such such a graphic, such a video with, uh, uh, with small, uh, small equipment, low equipment, low, uh, something like. Uh, they, I know he didn't have uh, higher equipments in photography, in laptops, in video, but he can create something that, uh, something that in a movie that can. Okay, wonderful. All right, this has been a fantastic interview, Hugh. Thank you so much for coming on and speaking with us today. Okay. How do people find you? Where are you at on social media? What are your handles? I mean, I know, uh, my platform is Facebook right now, and uh, if it, you know, if they want to, I know, to meet me, uh, yeah, fd fb dot com, I fd f fb dot gg slash Okay, wonderful. Then, and you know, and I hope, I know, and I hope they follow work because as time goes by, we uh, we were growing big and bigger right now, and we have tournaments on and Filipino gamers. Beautiful. All right, so this has been wonderful. Uh, before we wrap up, do you have any final thoughts you wanna share or anything that I didn't ask you think we still need to cover? Uh, I think, uh, I think uh, uh, being a gamer is, uh, no, is a passion. And if you want to go for it, work on it, because uh, uh, if you want to support it, uh, do it, in a in a in a very good way don't ano don't don't do things just for for games because uh, a game uh, a game is ano is is a motivation it's ano a game can help you and it's it's not a bad thing uh, i think ano being ano uh, being a gamer is ano uh, being a gamer is some uh, something uh again. you can uh, no, you can call yourself a gamer if uh, no, if you get a achieve, achievements and you can relate it to life uh, you can uh, no, uh, you can relate it to life if you can 
uh, if you can share, uh, compare it to your life. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, Guy, thank you so much. And I, I genuinely appreciate you coming on with us today. I appreciate you, you speaking my native tongue. You did fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, on that note, thank you again, Guy. I appreciate it as always. And for everybody else, I'm going to remind you all, don't be just a gamer, be a gamerpreneur.